indicator. From the main menu, we can select and enter the item 2, TDR Fault Locator. By this command and the arrows, it is possible to select and set the marker, the range, the horizontal gain, the horizontal sector, the PVF, the vertical gain, the time domain gain control, in and out impedance. So, Using F1, we can select L1 in out, normal use, or L1 in and L2 out. Useful to find the possible crosstalk point. Using F2, we can select a normal view, a relative view, a peak mode view. Using F3, you can select the pulse length, long, short or boost. Using F5, we can select the average test to clean the possible noise. For this test and next, we will use a simple line simulator made with an unusual 4x2 that is called AWG23, long cable coil, 300 meters length. For various tests, we will use two pairs as line and a single wires of another pair as ground refer. Now, two pairs NG and D start and two pairs NG and D end. Now, we loop the pairs end to realize a total length of 600 meters. So, on this loop point, we can insert the resistance among the wires to emulate possible four at a middle line. Now, we have to set the right PVF from here using these arrows. Okay, we go to PVF. Now it's setting to 618 and now we can change it 16, 15, 14 ok or if you want you can go to the main menu select configuration and utility enter cable setup enter and here you have all the cable. Now we select AWG23 618. Enter. Press Enter. OK. Exit. Now let's see if the value of PV has changed. We have to connect the instrument to the line simulator using the RTX connector okay now we have the hand of line echo here and we have to move the marker on the knee of the echo so select the marker here and move it Here. Micro interruptions finding. We moved the marker here with the arrows to the knee of the last hick of the line. Now, to see if there are micro interruptions on the line, we have to push F2, then relative, enter, and then Peak mode, enter. Now we have two real-time traces. The red trace will show the possible occasional event. 
for example a micro interruption. The green trace shows the normal status of the line. Now the red trace shows the simulated micro interruption. Ok, so here the red line show us that there is a micro interruption. So to see in which point there is this micro interruption we have to move the marker. Ok. Okay.